Hello and welcome to Real to Real. Well, now that it's back to school time across the Diocese of Springfield, parents are rejoicing and their kids are, for the most part, lamenting the end of their carefree summer. With the start of the school year comes some new faces to the classrooms and principal's offices. And this year, there are three new Catholic school administrators who Terry Hegarty had the chance to meet up with. He introduces us now to them and reports on how back to school went in Western Massachusetts. Approximately 4,000 Catholic school students in the Diocese of Springfield filled recently dormant halls and classrooms this past week. Aside from welcoming students back, three schools in the diocese will be welcoming a new principal. It's an exciting time and it's an anxious time. Students are wondering who their teachers are, teachers vice versa are getting anxious, getting ready, getting their classrooms. So the first day of school is always a moment of excitement for everybody. Holyoke native Ann O'Connor is no stranger to the city's Blessed Sacrament School. She had served as a teacher there for 22 years before becoming principal this summer. Good morning, Blessed Sacrament School. Mrs. O'Connor speaking, may I help you? She told Real to Real that her favorite part of being an educator is interacting with students. Seeing the children grow and come into their own personalities and coming into their own person and seeing them come back and say, oh, I miss Blessed Sacrament, and you ask them what they miss, and most of the time it's the teachers, the friendships, the community aspect of the school. This year's eighth graders say that they have enjoyed their years at Blessed Sacrament and are glad to be back. I'm pretty excited. I mean, I'm a little sad since summer's over, but I'm happy to get back to school and learn all the new subjects and all that. So I'm pretty happy. They are like mostly like a big family. Everyone knows everyone, or mostly knows everyone, and all the teachers are really nice. Starting her 35th year in education, but her first at a Catholic school, Roberta Laco says that she tried retirement but it wasn't for her just yet. I really knew I wasn't ready to fully retire at this point. So I gave it some thought and some prayer, honestly, and decided this is kind of where God wants me now, so I took the job. Principal Laco grew up in central Massachusetts and began teaching there before being a teacher and administrator at several schools in western Massachusetts. Linda Reardon, who will begin as principal at St. Stanislaus Koska School in Adams next month, is a native of North Adams. She's been a teacher and a principal in Massachusetts public schools for more than 25 years. She's starting at the pre-K through grade 8 school in early October due to retirement considerations. I'm really looking forward to being a hands-on principal and getting to know all of the students. It's so nice when you have a small school because you can really get involved with them personally and working alongside them with their teachers. I think they will find that I am very caring and very interested in, in their lives and what, um, what they hope to achieve. So um, it's an exciting prospect for me. Sister Andrea says that the three new principals have all put forth efforts to ensure a successful start to this school year. Each administrator has been well prepared. They know the policies, they know the procedures. More so, they have been forming school communities with their faculty and staff, trying to make sure that the opening is great. So I know that each one of them wants to live the mission. They've been very, very clear in stating that they are pleased that they can be an administrator in a Catholic school. With the start of the school year underway, students are now learning many new things. At the Diocese of Springfield's Catholic schools, they're also learning about something very old, the traditions of the Catholic faith. Principal Laco says she's happy to now be able to spread the faith through her work. I really relish the opportunity to integrate my faith with my career. And the fact that we pray before classes, we pray before school, we have monthly liturgies, and prayer services, and it just makes it all part of the fabric of, of who we are. We do a wonderful job, as do all the other parochial schools in the diocese, educating our children in our faith. It's important to have them realize that it, how important faith is in their lives. With more than nine months of classes to go, students have plenty of learning opportunities and chances to grow in their faith ahead of them. Reporting for Real to Real, this is Terry Hegarty.